Hey guys, I'm Dr. Trey Martin. And I'm Dr. Michael Fabric here at Pursuit Physical Therapy. So Olympics are coming up, and I remember a few years back, Michael Phelps was up on the podium, you know, doing his little flappy arm thing. I can't quite do it. If I could, I wouldn't be working here. I'd be in the Olympics right now. But we, we noticed all those big cupping marks, those big purple welts, and cupping blew off in popularity. Everyone's like, I need cupping. It's going to keep me. Michael Phelps is doing it. It must be why he swims super fast. So today we wanted to give a little talk um, to burst the bubble, and that is that that's a 1% intervention. So 99% of what my, makes Michael Phelps great, probably his sleep, his nutrition, his training program, um, his recovery methods that he's doing, more of an active mobility, maintaining arm range of motion, um, thoracic mobility, all that stuff. So just give us a little breakdown of your take. What have you been seeing out there as far as people requesting these very specialty um, treatments? Absolutely, I've seen a lot of fads going around. Yeah. Uh, things that are just super popular on social media, things like hip cupping, uh, using massage gun, Theragun, taping, different techniques, all are good. But like you said, they're a 1% intervention. Whereas uh, something I've seen a lack of is doing the things that are they're low hanging fruit, they're easy mm -hmm. to do, but it's super important and it's the other 99% of yeah. what makes you a good athlete and what helps you recover. Things like getting enough sleep, things like eating enough, getting enough nutrition, yeah. um, things yeah, that are super easy to do, but make yeah. a huge difference. I mean, the basics aren't sexy, but they've stood the test of time and they work for a reason. I see kids now too where it's like, they're living off of Taco Bell, four mm -hmm. hours of sleep, they don't work out, yeah. And they're like, well, can we do cupping? Can we do needling? Can we do massage gun? Um, can we do like a smile lift or something like that? All great interventions. Um, I'm not bashing them. I use them. But in my opinion, you have to earn that last 1%. You have to have a good training program. You have to be tackling all the low-hanging fruit, like you said. Mm -hmm. And that's going to get you so much more benefit than just doing a massage gun. Absolutely. I think people need to understand that these are passive modalities. Um, so they're going to have a very temporary effect. And if you're training at that high of a level, you've earned that last 1%. Um, but for everyone else, until you train like Michael Phelps, hmm. uh, maybe you don't need cupping. Um, I don't think it's gonna make you an Olympian. Um, so just to sum up really quick, don't get lost in the fads on things. Yes, they can help. Yes, they can help you feel better. But you gotta understand that you're just seeing the tip of the iceberg and the body of the work of these Olympians is in optimizing their low hanging fruit. And you gotta pick good parents too. <laughs>